subscribe to our YouTube channel, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Tropical Storm Isaias has defied expectations and has strengthened again back to 70 miles an hour maximum sustained winds up from this morning when it's at 65 miles an hour and it also currently has a minimum pressure down to 994 millibars as of 5 p.m. Eastern Time this August 2nd. The storm is currently located at 27.8 degrees north, 79.8 degrees west of stage 2 in the CDPS scale, significant damage possible. And now, there's a hurricane watch back into place again as this system could somehow defy expectations again and become a hurricane before making landfall in the Carolinas. These are distances in miles right now from land, 66 miles from West Palm Beach is past that now heading away. Daytona Beach is nearing at 106 miles away as it parallels the coast of Florida. Savannah, Georgia, 265 miles away, Charleston, South Carolina, 297 miles away, and Wilmington, North Carolina is still over 300 miles away at this point in time. There's a hurricane watch again, like I said, in place. Take a second to pause if you need to from South Santee River to South Carolina to Surf City, North Carolina. There's also a tropical storm warning still in place for Sebastian Inlet, Florida to or Clone Inlet in North Carolina. And a tropical storm watch now extends the system all the way up to Long Island and parts of coastal Connecticut. So we are looking at a system that is going to be moving pretty quickly now and could reach the New England with tropical storm conditions within two days, as is depicted on this GFS model right here. You saw the storm fly northeastward on the precipitation cloud cover model, the area of the influence of the storm plowing northward uh, over the next several days as this trough really picks up and moves it quickly. It's going to turn post-tropical as it does so around day three to four now, uh, and that will mean the storm will be expanding, so the area of rainfall and wind could be expanding with that as well. Keep an eye out for that. These are temperatures like this. They won't be a problem as long as the storm stays over water, 29 degrees uh, Celsius all around. Uh, more than significant enough for development of the tropical cyclone. The problem the system has been facing though consistently is wind shear of upwards of 20 knots. It is really struggling with that still convection still being torn off to the north and east. Here's the wind model from the GF. As you can see, this is the 12Z run. This one actually brings it back to a minimal hurricane again, uh, despite prior expectations before it makes landfall in the Carolinas and rides up the eastern coastline. A notable shift in the models east from last night, so we're no longer really expecting a landfall or two more of a close approach to Florida. It's going to parallel the Florida coastline mostly, and now potentially make landfall in northern South Carolina or in North Carolina right now is the expectation from the computer models and the National Hurricane Center. Here are the odds of tropical storm force winds. West Palm Beach heading away from there now, 4% odds. Daytona Beach, which is still ahead of it, but far enough inland, or not inland, away from the center. That's at 11%. Savannah, Georgia at 5% odds, Charleston, South Carolina at 44%, and Wilmington, North Carolina at 60% odds for tropical storm force winds. Here's the latest National Hurricane Center cone. You can see that hurricane watch in place in parts of South and North Carolina, along with the tropical storm watch extending from North Carolina all the way to Connecticut now. Uh, a really large swath of areas under tropical storm watches. Uh, the main threat from the system as it gets used northward will be heavy rainfall, though, with the threat of flash flooding. So if you are in this cone of uncertainty right now and have a watch in place, Please have your hurricane plan ready to go, just in case impacts become more severe for your exact location, and stay up to date with the National Hurricane Center and your local weather office. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the system. You can see that shear kind of trying to tear convection off to the northeast, but it's still strengthened a bit from this morning. Now it winds of 70 miles an hour. Force 13 will be live in under an hour at 6 p.m. Eastern to cover the latest with this system. Make sure to watch at youtube.com slash force13 slash live. You can follow us on our outlets, force13.com for web articles and the live cyclone tracker. You can also find us here on YouTube if you're not watching here already. Make sure to subscribe. We're also on Facebook. It's Force13 to find our latest posts there. And we're also on Twitter. It's at Force13 to ask us a question on that platform. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. Or you can become an ultimate fan right here on YouTube for perks and to directly support the project and our future endeavors in these times. You can also find us on Discord to communicate with us on our Discord server. Link is in the description below and you can message fool13 at extension 9094.